Oh, hello, you've caught us playing Diablo 3. My name's John, I work for OXM Magazine. I'm with... Aoife. Who also works for OXM Magazine. I do. <laughs> and I'm Edwin, and you'll be surprised to hear that I work for OXM too. What a merry tribe we are <laughs> in this adventurous world of Diablo. There's a rotting log in there, Log. Is that you? Uh, just been... No, I'm the one that just split it up in the hope that there might be some gold or a new set of pauldrons. <laughs> kind of a, a form of self-hatred if you're beating up logs. But Log, tell us, what is Diablo 3? Diablo 3 is a game where you take the role of a fantasy character and basically kill everything you encounter again and again until you are so strong it's it's fascinating. <laughs> wait, <a> second, <laughs> wait, wait, but I hear that there's some sort of personal computer version of this game, Log. Is that yeah, the case? It's Ooh. a it's a PC classic. Diablo 2 was a game that I sank many hours into into the year 2000, I believe. Um, sank too many futile hours into it. Futile hours that I enjoyed, but... <laughs> I will not pretend that I'm any better a person today because of the time I spent playing it. Okay. Well, obviously you've learnt your lesson because you're now playing the console version. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to lose months to it. I've already played Diablo 3 lot, a lot on the PC, but um, I'm really actually preferring the console version. And oh, I'll... and we've just seen one of the new additions to the console version. The dodge roll. <laughs> Take, <laughs> suck the dodge roll, PC gamers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a partisan person. I'm not a fanboy. But eat my dodge roll. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's. I mean, yeah, it does look like it's got a more. It benefits from being in real time. I mean, I, I've not played any of Diablo three on the PC, but uh, I like. Yeah, I like it being a hack and slasher, which has you know kind of one to one button and attack. Absolutely, so. there's there's something quite hypnotic about uh, in a bad way the PC game where you just find yourself clicking on things. Just uh, on and like clicking, 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 and not really thinking about what you're doing all yeah. that much. Yeah, the direct control with the left thumbstick and all the powers mapped to the face buttons and the right bumper and trigger, it it just feels a little bit more engaging. Mm, mm -hmm. I thought I'd I thought I'd kind of be a little bit more because I've played this on the PC quite quite a lot. I, I felt like I feel more uncomfortable with the controller, but actually it's really really quite nice. It feels very comfortable. It certainly yeah. looks. I mean, I, I'm 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 impressed that they've got so much of the PC's sort of skills and powers and all that kind of crammed into the uh, onto the pad onto and the obviously onto buttons, the screen. Yeah. I mean, I, I did find it. I mean, this isn't. I'm not playing at this point. I do play in another video. Um, <laughs> spoilers. But um, <laughs> speaking of which, um, yes, hello. This, this is the menu. You're, you're saying that how much yeah. they've mapped everything on from the PC version. Uh, all the skills are there. Um, yes. I've well, I say that I've just had a look through the menus, just mm. to, on the the one class that I play properly on the PC. I was more of a wizard person, and everything was there. All the passive skills, all the primary, secondary skills. All the runes as the, well. Oh God, all the runes, <laughs> all the runes that make it so complicated. Yeah. And, and that's yeah. that's what I like about this game is like every level you get up, you unlock about three more skills. You unlock a new skill. You'll unlock a new rune that transforms mm. a skill, passive skills, and like every level you go up, it's, it's encouraging you to try out a new way of playing that character. It makes something that looks quite simple on the surface actually quite tactical when you get down to it. Mm. Um, I mean, there's just there's tons of different ways to play each each class as well. Um, because for this, you're you're the demon hunter and I'm the monk here. So there's a good balance of your you know dual wielding crossbows from afar, and I'm sort of up close kicking demon ass. Yeah, that's. <laughs> She's noted for that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the complete ignoramus here. I mean, can I ask? Does it? I mean, do you kind of like acclimatize to the fact that there's so much going on in terms of powers and abilities and and things. I mean, like when I was playing, I just couldn't work out whose spells were whose. Well, that's the problem mm. with this demo. You start off at a level 34 or so, so you've got what you would have taken you about 20 or 30 hours to build up. And it looks and a bit overwhelming. Yeah, it's like when you're given a demo of an MMO and they drop you with a top level character, and that's that's hundreds of hours <laughs> you, you just haven't got. <laughs> I know actually was the flip side of that question then would be um, when you start the game is it the case that you're hitting rats with a stick for about uh, three hours or um, or is it kind of a bit more? Well you start off with just your primary attack and that's 
that's generally the depending on each class what their resource is. Like if you are the if you're the barbarian, your mm. regular attack will build rage, mm -hmm. and that but you don't really unlock the secondary and extra skills that use rage until you are at level four, five, or six. I think one of the nice things about Diablo three is though that even the low level spells and attacks they they do look quite impressive and they actually feel quite satisfying on the Xbox three hundred and sixty to to play with as well. Um, when there was four of us on screen, which is in another video, I mean it, it's horrendously confusing but it certainly it's, looks pretty it's visually stunning <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure that's probably a bullet point on their press release um but you're right that because the xbox version is slightly more zoomed in than mm -hmm. the pc version the um the four player is probably a little bit too intense yeah i think two or three players is probably where you'll want to end up settling four it's just very hard to pick out where you are and where your spells are being directed yeah and I'm a, I find myself controlling someone else and thinking I'm doing well, then just realising that I'm up in the top corner of the screen, attacking nothing. <laughs> a bush or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was my experience. I mean, it, it, it looks like. I mean, it looks like you could kind of. I mean, again, this may be the effect of this being a really high-level demo. Um, but like, is it the case that actually, even if, if it is confusing for four players, you could still play it very kind of like, you know, dare I say, casually? And uh, you know, just have some people over when you're drunk, and, and not have people going, "Oh my God, you didn't heal me in the right time." <laughs> you know, there are fractions of a second matter. There's, yeah. are there healing classes so much? There's not so much. Yeah. There's not so much of the kind of no. priest role in this. You you kind of just you see those little red things there on the screen. Those are kind of just uh, health potions, and you just pick those up. They're drops from enemies. So I, I and think healing if I remember, kind of takes care. Did they heal the whole party as well? I'm just I'm miss because it's been a while since I played Diablo three on PC. I don't think so. Loot. Looting. Looting is different, is it not? Um, looting. In what way is it different? What are you goading me to say? Uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> what, um, what do you want me to say? The, the loot is um, is not instanced in in Diablo three, is it? It's um, it's kind of a free for all. If, if everything that drops is first come first served, or by which I mean finders keepers, if you go into someone else's game and an orange legendary sword of tits drops. <laughs> Steady on. <laughs> so, and um, if you grab it, it's yours. They can't do anything about it. There's no trade windows. So you can't, there's no safe environment saying, they, they can I want make gold off with it. Yeah. yeah. So like if you want to trade something, you just drop it on the floor and they take it. That's dangerous. It's, it's very dangerous and it's quite, they're expecting you to play with people you trust. Because there's no auction house in, in the Xbox 360 version either, is no, there? No, there's no real money auction house like there's in PC, and there's no gold auction house either. It's, it's kind dangerous. of interesting mm. that they dropped that. I mean, given that now, obviously, everyone's talking about free to play on console, you'd have thought it would be a more tolerant environment for them to continue with it. I'm not sure how an auction house or that level of transaction between player to player, I don't think my Xbox Live is really equipped for that at the minute, okay. is it? Maybe we can look forward to Blizzard mm. monetizing our loot so in the no next generation. Never, never. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be beating up an awful lot of trees here. Yeah, the trees are turning against us here. This always happens in the end, really, doesn't it? <laughs> that's it. And there you never trust the trees. Oh, and, you've and just you've died. Just, um, that's you've just died. <laughs> really? Oh, that's me. I've just done that thing where I'm on the side of the screen again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you are. Okay. Lovely. Well, that's very handy. Yeah. It's a complete incompetent like me, and I like this whole no penalties oh, grass. death thing. Ding. Um, also, the other thing about loot is that it's been tweaked so that um, the more the rarer drops are less rare. So you, because I managed to play twice through the entirety of Diablo three on PC and not get one legendary drop. And it was halfway through my third playthrough is when I thought, do you know what? I'm actually bored of this. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not worth just it for a glint of orange. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't bored of the game. I was just feeling completely unrewarded by it. And um, this, uh, there's loads of yellow drops in this. I haven't seen an orange yet, but this is a 15 minute demo, so I wasn't. Yeah, I'm I was going to say, this, this is all, like, I'm looking at you with awe at this. What, what it's, it seems to be a massive, you know, turn of events that you can get orange things when you couldn't before. Mm. <laughs> 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 
Edwin, are you being sarcastic about my love of high-level <laughs> loot? <laughs> I'm just I'm introducing the perspective of a sarcastic person. Uh, okay, we've well, got a... Anyway. A named boss. A yes, named mob. We've got a yellow, a yellow boss here. It's oh. called the murderer. Rob, Seems a bit yeah. presumptuous, really. I'd like to see him do some murdering before <laughs> I take that on the... Yeah, those, yeah those bosses are when you get those yellow bosses they tend to have a number of randomly chosen special attributes like he was a mortar who so he lobs the massive things and, and there's other things like chains where you get three of them connected by damaging chains mm -hmm. and there's just a whole list of those ones that sort of like when you get to the hard levels they get four or so of those powers all randomly chosen there are some absolutely rock hard combinations of things that will just You'll, you'll just in deflate when you see it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in addition to that, when the more players you have, the more difficult the game is as well. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the enemies kind of scale, depending on how many players you've got. Have you guys noticed any like particular skills or enemies that have been nerfed or boosted? Or well, you're funny you should that. This pygmy guy, yeah. he's been his behaviour has been changed apparently. Not so he's tougher or stronger, but he's been designed to run away through crowds of monsters. So lead us on a wild goose chase. <laughs> and no mistake. Like, yeah. Choo choo, look at us all go. <laughs> Listen to that wild goose, choo choo. <laughs> um, yeah, he's not actually doing it now, but I was told by the um, a guy from Blizzard that he would um, be a little bit more mischievous in where he takes you. So like, once you've killed him, you can't just run in and get the loot. You've, you'll probably have 20 or 30 goats warriors to oh, have to kill first. It's because we killed them all. Yep. There's nobody left, look at us. That's efficiency, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. I did love in uh, playing Diablo before just uncovering the map, just <laughs> That's trying it out is. the right w roller. Watching the little maps slowly sort yeah. of like... It's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like smoothing out one of the old foil Kit Kat wrappers. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just therapeutic and you don't yeah. know why. Yeah. <laughs> you can see that you had a bit of a... You know, You've got a quite deprived sense of risk and reward. I can see orange things and Kit Kat wrappers. <laughs> and, you know, Whatever I'm sure makes you can aim high. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not constantly bungee jumping. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're in a dungeon now, though, so no, that's, yeah, yes, I mean, step, it's not just the loot and the bosses that are randomised. The layout of dungeons mm. and the location of places on the world map also randomised as well. So. Keeps that, things interesting. Yeah. Is, is there any kind of like, I mean, do you think they'd think about doing some sort of level editor on the Xbox 360? I don't know if there's a PC one or anything like that. Well, I don't know if the idea of a level editor with randomly generated levels seems like a, a, they'd be undermining their, <laughs> their randomly generated <laughs> yeah. things. They could do like a share, you know, I mean, like, yeah. Bloat gut. Yeah, point taken. Yeah, you can take the piss out of my my risk and reward. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm, I'm really happy I'm between, between you us. two right now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've never been more annoyed and attracted. <laughs> <laughs> it's all this goat impaling we're doing. Yeah. It's getting the blood up, clearly. It's a mood, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, chest. And then we're all... Oh, it's oh white much. garbage. Six, six grips. Eh? We don't even bother to pick it up. <laughs> Whatever. Ooh. That's it. There's no. Didn't see much grey loot. Apparently, there's no grey loot, oh, or really? lot, so much less grey loot. Even though it just means white loot is the new grey loot. It's, it's a bit can't. pointless, really. So grey loot is the most common and yeah. least wanted. It's basically just trash. Yeah, <laughs> trash you sell if you've got room in your backpack to hold it. Mm. I'm good. I'm glad that they've taken that. I just because I hate that whole thing in RPGs. We're like, yeah. Here's a bent piece of metal, yeah. which you might be able to sell for a, another piece of bent metal. And, then you're like, and you oh. find yourself picking them <laughs> up, even if you, you just have no interest. It's like, well, I may as well. It's going to lie there anyway. Yeah. Oh, oh that's it. Died again. Maybe uh, we're going to get a chance to talk about gems in the next video, I think. Uh, stay tuned. <laughs>